All right, G7s, so we're going to be looking at conclusion and evaluation uh, for your lab reports. And when doing a conclusion and evaluation, uh, it's going to be important that uh, you remember that you tell how your research question was answered, not just with a yes or a no, it was or it wasn't answered, but explain how it was answered. Make sure you're linking your independent variable and your dependent variable saying how one depended on the other. Also make sure that your hypothesis, uh, if it was supported by the data, that you explain not just that yes it was supported, but how it was supported. How much, where in the data, and making sure you're using numbers. Um, use words like increase or decrease. And uh, don't be afraid to say that your, your hypothesis was contradicted, meaning that the data showed the opposite was true and that you needed to uh, maybe go back and, and test it again or you are able to determine that the opposite of your hypothesis was true. Um, and also, the very last thing, remember you cannot prove anything correct. Um, uh, you can only prove that things are wrong. So when you're doing your conclusion, uh, please don't say I have proved this is true. Uh, you can say I've supported it. My hypothesis uh, is looks to be correct and we've supported that. Or you can say, well, I, I very clearly have proven that it is not true. Otherwise, we would have uh, expected to see that. Um, probably the best case, don't use the word prove anywhere in your conclusion. And you might be uh, a little bit safer there. Um, also, for... Uh, the evaluation, this is not just a simple reflection. Yes, I liked it. No, I didn't. This was good. This was bad. It needs to have a little bit more details than that. So you need to be able to explain anything that happened that you did not expect. Um, anything that, you know, was a, an error or something in the data that stands out. Try to explain those things. Talk about them. It's better to talk about it and not need to than to forget something important. Um, you need to look for sources of error. Try to find, did you make a mistake? Did you measure incorrectly? Did you drop something on the floor? Did someone leave the experiment for too long or not enough time? Where are the sources of, of error? Um, and when you find those sources of error, make sure it's not just the ones you know about, but that it's ones that you think maybe are a source of error. Okay. Uh, if you're not sure something was a source of error, talk to your group members. Talk to the teacher. Come ask me. Say, yeah, this is something I'm not sure. Is this maybe a source of error? And uh, talk about that. Um, you also need to make sure you discuss the significance of the error. Was this really important? Um, we used the wrong piece of equipment. Um, you know, was this a medium error where we, we think we measured a little bit incorrectly and so maybe the, the change or the percentage is, is off in our data? Or is it something low um, where you maybe could have tweaked something for your controlled variables a little bit better and it was maybe a source of error but maybe not a huge uh, thing there? Um, also, make sure you list improvements to avoid the error next time. Don't just say it's an error and then forget about it. And uh, we then go with the next testable question. Um, after your conclusion, your evaluation, you should think, what does this all mean? Where, where do we go from here? If we had plenty of time to keep testing and keep refining uh, that design cycle and, and go again, what does this new answer make you think about next? Okay. Not some random question. It should be a question that's linked to the test you've just done. Either looking at some different independent variables and how it would affect it or a new way to, to test that. But it should be linked, not just uh, something you know, completely random. Okay? You wouldn't want to do a test on the, uh, the osmosis of potato cells and then your next testable question is, do dogs like peanut butter? That's not what we're talking about with the next testable question. And make sure that it is a question that you could test. Okay? Again, thinking about what is a reasonable amount 
really thinking about your variables when writing.